Hi, it's Go McNeil. Welcome to Brooklyn Gardens today. It's the middle of September and um, I'm standing next to a few conifers that uh, I've recently gotten in and um, so we're going to be selling these and the price on these is going to be $15. I'm going to go through and that's $15 each. I'm going to go through each one of them a little bit and just explain a little bit about it. So these won't be on our website, but if you're interested, um, we'll have a list on the screen below and you can uh, just contact us, email us, and we'll send an uh, invoice. These are easily shipped or, and then also you can pick them up here at the nursery. So we're going to go through a few of these. I've got a, a scotch pine, Pinus sylvestris, in my hands. Um, has a cultivar name of Cupcake. Uh, grows two to three inches a year. It's a nice light green color. If you want something small in the garden, a great little plant, mounding type plant. Got a little bit of an upright habit here too, so um, so that's Cupcake. And then um, one of the many Mugo Pines, this one's called Rhoda or Rada. It's another slow growing Mugo Pine. This one here has got lots of buds on it, so this one's available. And then we've got a few Jap Japanese white pines, Pinus parviflora. So, Atco Goya, a very slow growing one. Small needles, sometimes used for bonsai, or just a small plant in the garden. So these are great deals for $15 for starter plants. These, these trees are almost two years old. Um, they were grafted in, um, it'll be the winter of uh, 2018. So, so, uh, a real a miniature Japanese white pine, this Regenhold, really nice kind of blue silvery color, um, just grows an inch, maybe two a year, but uh, stays in 10 years, it's only, oh, about, uh, you know, a foot and a half tall at the most, so uh, very slow grower and very nice plant, I have quite a few of these, but, um, so there's Regenhold. Another... We talk about Mugos, but this one, Little Delight, another miniature. You can see it's smaller than all the rest, even though they're the same age. Lots of buds on it, though, so very compact, mounding uh, type of uh, Mugo pine, um, which is common with, with a lot of them, but this one, um, very miniature. Uh, here's one I'm not real familiar with, but um, um, you can look this one up. It's a, a black pine, Pinus nigra bobo, but kind of just looking at it, it looks dwarf, light green, um, and I'm not sure if those needles stay, so um, this is one that you might look up if you're interested in it, but it, um, I'm not as familiar with it, so check that one out, but it looks like a great plant. And there's, oh, this one, another scotch pine, there's, there's several that are slow growing. This one's called John Boy. There's Little Ann, there's Jeremy, um, a couple others that are uh, very similar in growth habits, um, growing several inches a year, two, three, four inches a year. And I really like this one. It'll have a upright habit, nice branching. In 10 years, it'll be a couple feet tall and maybe a little bit more, but that's uh, um, these, these scotch pines I really like them in my garden. So we're going to include one fir, um, which is a spreading star. And spreading star is a uh, Abies amabilis, and it um, it's a low growing, uh, nice dark green. It's got that silver underside um, that um, is really nice. And they can put a leader out after a number of years, and you can let that go. Most people would would cut it out and leave the plant growing more pancake-like or flat. So we're in with um, the trays of uh, the different things that um, I have, very similar to, to what we were just looking at earlier. I was talking about some of those scotch pines that are the really dwarf ones. This one's Jeremy, and um, it's one of my favorites, Little Ann and Jeremy. And, um, so we looked at a couple others over at the table over there. So again, the branching is really nice on it. And um, you know, it's almost two years old. So Jeremy's a great plant. I'm gonna, we've got a few other J 
Japanese white pines. I'm just kind of looking for things to pick out. Let me, we did show Spreading Star. I've got a couple of one gallon ones that are pretty old. They're like, these have to be probably six, seven, eight years old. And they need to be fertilized. They're a little off color, but they're nice and healthy, push and grow. You can see the, the nice white roots on, uh, they're very, very compact. They're ready to go into a two or a three gallon or in the ground. Get these in the ground and when they're this old and they just uh, do really well and uh, doesn't take for the, them long to get up to a, a, a really nice landscape size. So, um, and this is a really nice plant. So another noble fir, we were just looking at, well, we were looking at Spreading Star, which is an amabilis, but uh, another fir is, uh, it's called Rat Tail, and it um, will show you what a, a one that's 20 years old looks like. Um, as as well so that you can get an idea of what that looks like but uh, congested needle nice green color dark green color and um, very nice upright plant for the garden so Japanese black pines very aggressive growers but this is a uh, pretty you can tell by the needles are very um, it's a very dwarf plant um, this one's called Herb Kelly you don't find this one very often and I've got uh, quite a few of them my uh, bonsai guy that buys uh, plants from me pre bonsai he picked up seven or eight of these the other day so they're they're going pretty fast but uh, um, but nice nice form nice uh, symmetrical type form and um, would be easy to work with so when they're young like that you can kind of do things so got other scotch pines and um, we've got a Pinus uh, virginiana called Driscoll, really dwarf. You can just kind of see the really short needles on that. So, a variety of other mugos, a few, a few spruces, a lot of pines. So, quite a bit available. I wanted to show you this uh, larger rat tail that we showed the little uh, recent graft on. So, this is what uh, a more mature plant would look like. You can tell it has nice strong trunk there and uh, again those needles are congested on the on the branches so it's going to take you know 15 years typically to get to the size maybe even 20 so you know to have a, a nice mature tree and then if you know something like this you could you know if you can find one like we have here you can plant it in the garden you have a really mature tree of this uh, very dwarf so thanks for watching today and um, you know, and we're going to have uh, that uh, list at the bottom of the screen of the plants that we just showed you. So you can uh, contact us and order those if you like. And be sure to um, like, comment, and, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for joining us.